So we've been having some really hot days here in this Northern California garden, zone 9B. Today we're expected to get to 104 degrees. Yesterday we were in the hundreds as well. So what tends to happen on these really hot days is that the birds hang low in the afternoon. They come out in the early morning and in the evening as it begins to cool down. But in the middle of the day, when it's most hot, the bird water actually serves a second purpose and is mostly being visited by wasps, bees, who are all very thirsty and like to take a dunk in the cold water as well. So unlike bees, wasps don't have an abundance of little hairs all over their body which help them transfer pollen from one plant to another. So they're not as effective at pollinating your plants. What they are though, are a beneficial predatory insect. They help to take care of some of the pests that are in your garden. Pests like the cabbage moth or the cotton moth, the eggs they lay, the larvae that hatches out or the caterpillars, all of these are taken care of by the wasps. They'll even feed directly on house flies and the larvae they lay or the maggots. Generally, they only become defensive if their nests are tampered with. So unless you come across a nest that perhaps is in a wrong spot, maybe it's just too close to where the kids play or it's right next to the house where you come in and out of the door, I wouldn't worry about it too much. In fact, I'd encourage you to help facilitate these garden buddies. So after stopping by for a quick drink, the wasps and bees will head back out to continue to defend and pollinate the garden with no reason to go elsewhere to look for a cool drink of water.